Good morning and welcome back. We have a lot of stuff that we need to cover and we have a short amount of time to do it before we go on to the Christmas break. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to open to our new section of our journal that we're working on and I will show you what we're doing from there. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Perfect. Right now you see this is the journal that we work out of. Um, and the other day, all I had you guys do was put a new tab on the fourth line down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and update this with our table of contents. Let me get that going. There we go. Let's update the first page as table of contents. And we're going to put down today's date. Um, December 2nd, uh, 2020. 20. And we're going to talk about what is a rule. Usually, um, I do these several days or several things in advance. And I say, I don't know what the date is, but uh, I do know what the date is. It's going to be tomorrow. Uh, what is a rule? So we're going to talk about what a rule is. Now, understand that if your parents tell you to, uh, to follow the rules, if they say no running in the house, then you know that the rule is no running in the house. But in math, it's a little bit different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to title this, what is a rule? And then we will talk about it from there. Usually my handwriting by the end of the day gets a lot better, but I got to be honest with you right now, it looks pretty bad. December 2nd. Okay. Now let's talk about what a rule is. Okay. A rule for mathematics is a, uh, it's a mathematical phrase that tells you how the numbers in a table are related. Okay, so we're going to write that down. A rule is a mathematical a mathematical phrase that tells you how numbers in a table are related. Look, handwriting looks terrible today. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, usually what happens in a table, you'll have something like this. Okay. I'm going to draw a pretty good size table. I'm going to label the top part right here, input. And this is going to be output. Now, input and output. Now, um, there may be things that are missing on this table. And the thing is, is you got to fill in the blanks. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. Let's go about that many. Let's say that you have five. Um, then you have 24 and six. And let's say you have seven, eight. You know, it's for simplicity's sake, let's just do this whole thing. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, perfect. You have something 24, then you may have something like this, 28. Um, then you have, what would that be? 36. Um, you may have 44 here. And now you have to figure out what's happening, okay? What is the relationship between six and 24? Now, if a number goes in as six, something happens to it and it comes out as 24. Now, you have a couple of ways to do this. You can look at it and say, well, 6 and 24, I've increased it by 18. But if you're saying that the rule is plus 18, then it has to work for all the ones that you have. Now, if I do 7 plus 18, um, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to pull up the phone. Let's see. Here we go. 7 plus 18. Nope. 7 plus 18 equals 25. Well, that's not going to work. 7 plus 18 is not going to be 25, so adding 18 to it is not going to work. Okay, back to the drawing board. What about multiplying? Does 6 multiplied by something equal out to be 24? Let's see. I can go 6, 12, 18, 24. Wait, 4. 4 works. So if I say that the rule is multiplying by 4, I need to check it with the ones that I have. Well, 6 times 4 equals 24. That works. Seven times four is 28, okay? Um, nine times four is 36. You know what? I think I figured out what the rule is. 
the rule on this is multiply by four times four, okay? Now, we can go ahead and start filling these in. Five times four, well, that's gonna be 20. Eight times four, 32. 10 times four is 40. And 12 times four is, what is that? 48. Beautiful, okay? Now, here's how you figure out how to do this rule or how to make sure that it works. First things first, okay? Look at all the information that's been given. Why is that ribbon still popping up down there? My goodness, like go away, okay? Look at all the information given. Look at all the information given, okay? Second one, analyze what is happening. Analyze what is happening. And the third one, test your theory. Okay, perfect. Now, this is the, the idea of a rule, okay? It's just about trying to figure out what works. Now, with our thing, we figured out that if we fill in the blanks, we can figure out what it is. Okay, this one was one of them that had to work out. Okay, we also had to figure out if it worked for this one as well as here and here as well. Okay, you have to check your theory and if it doesn't work for one of them, then the theory is wrong and you have to go back to the drawing board. Now, it's not a problem. So you have to go back to the drawing board. It's just a matter of well, what can I do to make it work? Um, it's pretty simple. This unit that we're working on right now is a very short unit, um, but the information that's in there, it's very imperative that we actually get it and figure it out so that we can understand how to progress forward. Um, as it sits right now, this is going to be our uh, journal entry for the day. I will see you next time.